For two months, President Saleh has resisted calls for him to go. But now his own soldiers appear to have abandoned him, joining anti-government protesters in the chance of leave, leave. This is a message to Colonel Saleh. We're telling him to leave. It's enough. His history is up. And now the biggest sign yet that he will go. A deal brokered by Yemen's neighbours has been reached. The Gulf Cooperation Council wants Saleh to hand over power to his vice president within a month of agreement being signed with opposition forces. Under the terms of the deal, immunity from prosecution for himself, his family and his aides. But the president is yet to sign and until he does, few will believe it. The president and the General People's Congress Party of course agree with all this initiative. That means the president would resign in accordance to Article 116 to members of the House of Representatives. Protesters staged the largest demonstration in the two months since the uprising, filling a five-lane boulevard across the capital, a sea of hundreds of thousands of people. For two months, Yemen has been in a state of constant unrest, often in the face of a crackdown that's included sniper attacks and killed more than 130 people. For President Saleh, this could be the end of his 30-year rule. In the past two months, he's watched others fall. President Ben Ali in Tunisia and Egypt's President Hosni Mubarak. It now looks like he'll follow them. But the protesters say they'll believe it when they see it. And they say they'll remain on the streets until he goes. Nick Martin, Sky News.